This is how you make your mark in a community. You have to not only be a good designer, but you have to engage people so that they, they see what you do and then they invite you to do more. I'm a designer, Mike's a third generation contractor, so I love the, the curve that Dorina came up with. And seven months worth of Saturdays? Three to four hours pretty much every Saturday morning for six months or so. Yeah. And uh, it was a great experience. We knew that people wanted a garden, so it was really more about how do we make it happen. The design, the perimeter is what is where the design is. I love it. I, I think it's a plus for the city. My name is Dorina Bakiri and I'm an architect and I was the chosen designer for this project. Well, the focus of the AIA competitions has always been on the young architects in the chapter. They get recognition for their design abilities and they get mentorship from older architects who take an interest in seeing what the younger architects are up to. Since we're a historic district, it was really important that we don't just put up a fence and, and, and plant plants. We wanted it to be something special. So we had five entries, I believe. We wrote a scope and a program that said this is what the space is supposed to accomplish. The carrot was you'll meet some cool architects in town and what you design will get built. These key elements from the neighborhood, like the front porches, the lashes gardens, the pathway, and introduce them. And the design is modern, but in the same time, it's very classical. You have a curve, it's a serpentine wall, which so it wasn't completely new. It was way a different way of interpreting. What I find most unique about the community garden is how it truly was a community effort. From the original design all the way through the construction, it was built entirely by volunteers who gave up their Saturdays to do all of the construction. You know, anytime you do a design competition, you bring together ideas from creative people. You can get something that is aesthetically pleasing and functionally important. And the AI was instrumental in making this happen. So Riverside Avondale Preservation is a nonprofit that's dedicated for historic preservation, but also community development. And we do all kinds of projects in the neighborhood, like tree plantings, and we built a dog park, and then the community garden. Before the AIA was involved, they didn't have a vision for what the garden was going to be. And once we had the competition, the community could see the potential, and it encouraged people to get involved. So we posted here in the garden during the home tour all the ideas of all of the entries, and we had people vote. So we had the community say, this is the design we think is the right design for this, uh, for this space. I was looking for a competition as the head of the young architects. Turned out they didn't need a design for the dog park, but they had the community garden that was in need of a design. The, the good design meant that it, everybody had great respect and pleasure in working on it because they could see it would be a lasting uh, piece of the community. <laughs> Well, obviously, when we put in the, the curved wall, you're taking flat material and you're, you're bending it around the design of the post uh, because they were laid out to follow the original design. It was a little challenging to work out the details and everything in, in the construction, but uh, we made it work. And this is 20 times as attractive and 20 times as more beneficial to the neighborhood because it really stands out as something of quality and I think it did a spectacular job pulling it together and I'm delighted. Architects play key roles, uh, civic leaders of the community. We are trained to have a little bit of knowledge of everything uh, and we know how to bring people together, knowledges together, uh, know what to highlight and bring importances and compose these in a way that will help the community. I think design competitions are important because as architects our greatest contribution to our communities is our vision. In this case the local AIA chapter had an idea, they executed the competition, they built something beautiful, they built something that's functional, community interaction, leadership from architects and interaction with community organizations can build something that is beautiful for the entire community.